Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. We're doing more West of Loathing today. I freaking love this game. It's so cute. Uh, we just picked up a wanted poster for the Potman Kin Gang, and we're gonna go there and check it out now. Reach for the sky, clown. You quickly turn around and see a grizzled looking man in all black clothes, except for his hat, which is white with brightly colored spots. He points a gun at you. Who are you calling a clown, jerk? Hmm, it's true. You don't have a clown's markings. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, or you mean like super polka dot hat that only a clown would wear? You mean like a super polka, hat, polka dotted hat that a clown would wear? You may be no clown, but you are a fool if you think I'll accept your insults. Ugh, whatever, I'm out of here, or bring it chuckles. Bring it chuckles! Oh my god. Well, these jerks are quick. Alright, we're gonna fuck this guy up. Oh wow, he's pretty strong, huh? Uh, shoot him! He's doing more damage to me than I am to him. Shit. Only one damage? Action first aid. <laughs> Covered myself in some band-aids. Alright. I think we're gonna be able to beat him. Uh oh. No! No! Aw, oh, bummer. You get in effect angry. You get so angry about losing the fight that you pass out. Z, Z, Z. You wake up the next morning in your bed. Oh, that means my Vienna sausage is weird off. Doc Alice was security back here after you got knocked out. You're a little sore, but not otherwise any worse for wear. You are pretty hungry, though, and sober. Let's mosey. All right, let's go back to that gang's location. I wanna, I wanna get our meat. You encounter an overturned wagon surrounded by ruined books and a broken pair of spectacles. Looks like a family of especially literate homesteaders met an untimely end here. Tragic. Look through the wreckage. You pour over the detritus, uh, detritus? And managed to find exactly one book that is both undestroyed and remotely interesting to you. Got an item, Advanced Cow Punch in Volume 133. Volume 133? How many volumes of Advanced Cow Punching are there? Alright, uh, oh, you're still out of alcohol, huh? Sorry, Alice, I'll get you some more soon. No entry. Non-fake horse sales. Eek! Oh, we scared someone. Get away from me. Genuine tea and tea and sandwiches. That sounds like a bad combination. Town hall. This banner looks distraught. What's the matter, buddy? I lost my belt buckle. Did you lose it near the bar? Did you look near the jail? Did you look near the hostlers? Did you look near the hand? Okay. Uh, did you look near the bar? Oh, good idea. I'll look there. Okay. Weird. Um, town hall for an actual town. Anything back here? Is an outhouse. You duck into that house to plan your next move. While you're pondering, you notice something weird. This outhouse has a back door. Go through the back door. Oh, everything's backwards now. Oh my god. Wait, those aren't real buildings. And there's TNT. I can blow up the whole thing. A hefty load. What is that for? This is the back of the jail. It turns out it's just flat plywood like a the theater set. Um, hmm, the ropes that are holding this thing up don't look very strong. You could knock it over pretty easily, but you should probably hold off until just the right moment. I see. Oh, dang it. So I guess when they're on the other side of it, you drop it. Alright. Um, well, let's blow this up. Oh, we can't. Not yet. Okay. Well, let's go around to the front side. Now we know the stuff's back here, at least. Well, he's here. Still saying no entry. Wait, is that him saying it? The guy says, seriously... What do you say? I missed it. Seriously, there are like a million ghosts in there. Oh, he won't let me in because there's ghosts in there. I get it. The guy shouts, that place is condemned. It's not safe to go in there. No entry. The hostler is on vacation right now. The bandit looks distraught. What's the matter, buddy? I lost a belt buckle. Uh... Mm. 
this guy. I have a feeling he doesn't have a belt buckle. That's bizarre. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with him. Yeah, we already told him to look at all of these places. Weirdo. Alright. What else is over here? This girl is running from us. I don't understand how I'm supposed to fight these guys. Well, let's go to the other side. Maybe we can... Maybe we can cut that line now. This is a gang though, right? Those are those unauthorized dealers. Uh, we read a book and it says there's a chapter written by a guy who survived 17 different near-fatal gorings. He really learned a lot about getting gored. It gives gore a skill that lets you attack an entire row of enemy enemies. There's a really interesting article about, about punching people so hard they stop moving. It gives Haymaker a combat skill that deals, a dam uh, that deals damage and briefly stuns an enemy. There's a chapter about adapting the stampeding behaviors of demonic cattle for human use. It gives Bull Stomp a combat skill that does a small amount of damage to your enemy. Uh, let's do Gore, because I want to hurt a bunch of enemies at the same time. You read all the books and convenient truths about goring. You got a skill, Gore. Unfortunately, you accidentally gore the book into bits while practicing what you've learned. Crap. Okay. Uh, because, like, didn't we have, like, a plunger for, uh... I guess not. We don't have a knife to cut that rope either, huh? Well, we need something to set off this TNT for sure. We need some kind of rope to cut this when the time is right. When will we know that the time is right? Alright, well, let's go back to town and see what else we can do. We were supposed to go to this old mission. Let's see if we can go there. Well, here's an unusual sight. An old boat out in the middle of the desert. This is, If this were a beach, you would call it beached. But you can't call it a desert deserted because there's someone in it. That someone is a skeleton wearing a helmet with horns on it. He looks pretty bored and is idly polishing the dragon-headed pro of his ship. I think maybe he's been here for a very, very long time indeed. Fight him or surrender. Let's get it. Well, these jerks are quick. You think that every time. Uh... Reduce the muscle on enemies by four. Let's move at him. Damn. Shoot him, Alice. Wow. He's strong. Holy shit. I like do no damage to this Targets. We don't need that yet. Just keep going. Doctor, oh, she can heal us. She just throws medicine on us. Cool. Anyway, whatever works. All right, yeah, we can defeat this guy. I believe. One more, one more. We got this. Done for. Yeah, he fell apart. Yeehaw, skill up Moxie. Got a rusty old Viking helmet. Got a skeleton bone. And we got another gold tooth. Alice studies the remains of your undead foe. Huh. Alright, we're at the old mission now. Which is a church. Oh no, she doesn't look happy. What's wrong? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What's wrong, sister? They came back. They just came back and took them. I thought I, I couldn't stop them. Well, slow down. What happened? Our holy relics, the saints, just stormed up out of the catacombs and took them. Wow, the dead bodies came up and took them? Wow, I don't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The cardinal will be here any minute. What am I gonna do? 
You start with take a deep breath and try to calm down, okay? What's your name? I'm Sister Mary. My name's Walt. Now, what's the what's this about saints? Our missions or mission is to protect three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It's my specific job to look after them. Wait, do they call you Memento Mary? She shows uh, you the rule if she gets stuck in her sleep. No, they do not. Okay, okay, sorry. So what happened? Uh, the saints. Oh, it's too horrible. They just came to life somehow. They came up out of the catacombs all skeletal, skeletal and gassy looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say that, but I nearly fainted. And they took back their relics? Yes, and they aren't recovered before the cardinal gets here. I'll be in so much trouble. Uh-oh. How much time is there? Well, actually, he's months overdue, so they're probably not uh, probably not all that urgent, but still. All right, I'll get them back for you. Oh, oh my god, so much talking. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, wait a second. Are you going to have to fight them to get the relics back? Because that's probably blasphemous, too. Uh, I mean, probably, but if the black magic brought them back to life, that's, like, super blasphemous, right? So it evens out? Oh dear, the cardinal is going to want to have a very long talk about this, but go ahead and do what you must, I suppose. Okay. Well, next time on the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, we're going to go down to the basement and get those relics back. Uh, be sure to subscribe button so you guys don't miss it, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody!